Daniel Dainu, welcome, former finance minister in Romania. Um, you've been chairing a workshop on um, finance. We live in a rather difficult world. Low interest rates, Eurozone still a little dodgy. What's the perspective? If you look at numbers and consider uh, longer term time series, you could argue, look, numbers do not show, I mean, something terribly wrong in the global economy. And, but, but one has to balance it with um, uh, the policy making. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the way policy makers are framing their policies, and, and, and there is something very disturbing. We are uh, at seven, eight years since the start, the big eruption, the explosion. Exactly. Uh, we continue to use unconventional uh, measures uh, on a grand scale. You mean QE in particular? QE in particular, but not only QEs. Um, I, I, I argue also that there is a sort of a breakdown of the models, conceptual models and the operational models. Just think uh, in the banking sectors, in, in the financial sector, how banks are forced by reality, not necessarily by the, their <laughs> propensity, um, to change business models. Oh, we, we're talking about, for example, I'm, 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 I'm in support of uh, reintroducing a sort of a Glass-Steagall mm -hmm. legislation. Many are opposed it, but, but, but if you look, but, but banks are forced by reality yeah. to th think about whether uh, universal banking is still uh, a valid concept and, and how to make their entities more robust and resilient. Well, you're, I think, in company with Mr. Volker and several others, but it doesn't seem to have been happening. Uh, de facto, there are, there, there are trends, there are trends uh, 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 underway. I'm not saying that we're going to end up with a glass steagall in the end. But, but if we don't, are we heading but, towards but, but, another but, but, bubble? But just think about it. I mean, so we are thinking about uh, too big to fail. Some are saying that probably we should also think about, uh, we should consider splitting very large entities. We should um, separate investment yeah. from retail uh, banking. Some banks are downsizing their operations. Just think about uh, uh, what's happening in Switzerland, level, yeah. but, but also in the UK. Yeah. In the UK, and, and this is something which should, should give people food for thought, because you're talking about UK, we're not talking about... Mm. Right. The UK is the country where the big bank yeah. started, and, and the revolution. Okay. So um, probably we have oversized finance. Finance in general has to be downsized. There should be more uh, stronger capital and liquidity requirements. Should, should, there should be less leverage. And, and, and banking should change its, um, its culture. It should, be, it should serve the economy. And, and, and not sh a final question. I mean, does the World Policy Conference play a role in changing this culture? I mean, you share your ideas. Do you get a receptive audience? Uh, of course, uh, the World Policy Conference is, is an intellectual driver, but not only uh, intellectually, I must say. It it's, um, uh, focuses, because there, there are people who, uh, some of them are still in the trenches. Some of them might not be uh, currently in the trenches, but they can pull the strings f from behind. And, uh, and um, uh, just a final note, because we have not focused in our discussions on finance um, exclusively. I think we have tried to look at the broad picture, and um, uh, it, it's, it's obvious that sometimes we are groping in the dark, mm. that we are befuddled, I mean, it's by things which are so unusual. It's, think about no inflation, yes. although huge amounts of liquidity have been introduced. Keynes' key concept, the liquidity trap, Absolutely. is very intensely operating. Uh, economic rates, uh, rates I, I, I would say it again, are not so bad if you consider very long-term serious. 
but they might be disappointing in view of what people are expecting from and governments I to deliver. Think, I think Keynes also said in the long term we're all dead. So. Uh, I think I should leave it at that. <laughs> Daniel Dainu, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for the invitation.